Hello and welcome to the Man Eater Platinum video. Um, I'm recording this just before I've even started playing the game. I have played the game, completed it. My favourite set was the electric set. Meanwhile, aboard um, the Cajun. That's that shark there was the shark you players, the one I'm playing as now. That was his mother. So this is me. I get to basically go This is an stuff. adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, really and fun. armed quite literally to the teeth. She has little oh, to fear here see. in the Gulf. Uh, the yeah, muscular marvel cool. confidently moves through its water. Yeah, I'll be getting the platinum trophy. I have completed the game, but I've never gotten the platinum before. It must be sad. emphasized that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. <laughs> that shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, oh, Chad. Here I thought it would be the perfect time to tell you, I'm so sorry for the shortness of this video. It was about 20 minutes, but as I'm coming to download it, I've realised, oh crap, I didn't save it. Plus I deleted the trophy clips, all but the platinum at the end. So, you know I got the trophies, but I don't have clips with them anymore. So I apologize for that. At least the rest of the video is still here. Not sure if I actually deleted them, because if I did, the others would be deleted. But they're gone, so I'm sorry. Despite Port Clovis' best efforts, the aquatic beast refuses to be tamed. Not everybody made to be a fisherman. I just hope this whole university thing works out for him, yeah? Your hotshot, Ensign Tyler Dixon. <laughs> Got her. Things are getting heated in this war of attrition between man and nature. With a bounty on the line... What's in the barrels? Fish food. Pete, this is, can I ask you not to do it? Gonna get that shark. One way or another. It's, it's just that this is unnecessarily destructive. I mean, it's just one shark. There's a whole ecosystem. One shark? That killed my boy. Pete, look, I, I understand. Wanna keep tugging on this knot, you? Pete as a new boat, and from the looks of it, there are several features probably not legal for civilian use.
So you found me. So what? Pete, I, I don't know what all this is, but you're scaring us. <laughs> what you gotta be scared about? You uh, Pete, I don't want to, but I, I think we need to get the police, maybe the Coast Guard involved. <laughs> you think I'm crazy? No, no. I'm the most sane man you ever seen. Well, I didn't get it easy. When was some, some shark take everything I got, I'll give her the same chance she gave my boy. None! Now get the f off my boat before I kill you too. The f I say! <laughs> Hope you got a hunger on! We serve a shark at the fair tonight! But will it be enough to endure the prehistoric might of a mega shark? Hello there, girlie. As you can see, I came prepared today. Oh, I'ma fix you up real first. I suppose there's a lesson to be gleaned here. Something about how the increasing commodification of the natural world has placed humans on a collision course with an environmental apocalypse. But this is a basic cable show where people tune in to watch sharks kill people and people kill sharks. So until next fishing season, this is Man Eater. The shark has somehow survived the multi-gigajoule explosion unscathed. But just like that, she's on to other things. In case you're wondering about me, the network Namby Pambies canceled our program due to depictions of actual death. So I'm now broadcasting online, free from the meddling of censorious busy parts. Hi, my name is Trip Westy. Recently, I produced the television nature series, Man Eater. Over the course of filming, our cameras witnessed unprecedented displays of evolution, strange mutations never before observed by the human eye. When I spoke to a prominent marine biologist, she claimed it was due to Port Clovis's extreme levels of radioactivity and industrial effluent. But I couldn't shake the feeling that she was merely trying to play. What did she really do? And why wasn't she telling me? 
Then, as if the stars had all aligned, the former Q-level security specialist sat down next to me. What he told me would haunt me for the better part of a year and lead me back to Port Clovis on a dangerous journey through dark secrets, government cover-ups, and a clandestine cabal of extraterrestrial elites single-mindedly determined to enforce their will on humankind. Come with me on a quest for the truth. Truth Quest. Judging by the bull's behavior, she smells a new creature. If it threatens her apex status, a heated confrontation is inevitable. The markings on this satellite suggest that it belongs to Site P, a top secret military compound, and perhaps the home base of these NWO troops. Ice fishing is similar to regular fishing, but enjoyable only to upper Midwesterners.